Hey, everyone. Uh, so, Death Battle Prediction. Uh, and we had our Death Battle today with Batman vs. Black Panther. Obviously, I never, I would never spoil it the day of, but I think the majority of people who called that fight probably called it right. Myself included. I called that right. You can check my prediction video if you want to know how I called it. Um, <clears throat> that's not to say if things had been different, the other combatant wouldn't have won, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and, and Screw Talk actually made a lot of good points that I think I made and a lot of people have made, but it's like, look, and, and if, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, this person beats this person because of these reasons without any sort of prep time. So anyway, uh, <laughs> Raven from Teen Titans and DC Universe versus Twilight Sparkle. What is with the My Little Pony stuff? Uh, look, we had, uh, what was it, Rainbow Dash versus Starscream, which was just unusual, uh, to say the least. Um, you had uh Deadpool versus Pinkie Pie which was just a gag fight let's be clear about it. let's be fair there that was just a gag fight now you have Raven versus Starlight uh Twilight Sparkle um okay now initially I'm thinking oh god what is this what is this what is okay the uh, Twilight Spark Twilight Sparkle uh, or Twilight yeah Twilight Sparkle Twilight Sparkle has got to be OP but Raven is technically OP the reason I've never really I mean I think someone suggested me doing a who would win with Raven and if they have I'll check and eventually do it and probably individuals like Raven and like, like a perfect example is if you pit Scarlet Witch versus Raven there's no definitive winner in that fight whatsoever because their powers are very they, they have a ba there's a base definition to their abilities but overall, their powers technically don't have any limit to them um, because because of the nature of the bird. Like in Scarlet Witch's case, she affects probabilities. She has reality warping abilities. There's theoretically no limit to that. Raven, similarly, uh, similarly, she has a base set of abilities. Like if we're going just by what we see in Teen Titans alone, she's got telekinesis, tele telepathy, empathy, or empath, uh, empathic abilities, uh, capable of firing energy blasts because of the way her powers work, capable of sh summoning shadow demons, capable demonic heritage that is open. She literally forced back her father, who is a demon lord. Like, it, like Trigon is one of the, le like, a legendary known demon lord in the DC world. He's a uber-tier uber individual, and Raven bitched his ass out. <laughs> so Raven is pretty freaking axed. However, Twilight Sparkle, I looked up Twilight Sparkle before this to understand, Twilight Sparkle's no joke. Twilight Sparkle had a lot of weird magical abilities to her. She also has a rational feel of quesadillas, but you know what? <laughs> uh, you can fear what you want to fear. Uh, but, I mean, she's got a laundry list of powers, including uh, like weird stuff like um, turning herself into an illustration to go talk to something. Um... What, what were some of the others? She actually can freeze people in place, uh, make them float. Though with Raven, that probably won't work doing anything. She can actually go back in time. Not, it's a, a, a ability called About Time. A spell called About Time. And talk to herself. Talk to her past self. Her ability is talking to her past self. She can copy other individuals' magic. She copied dark mag magic to uh, create a passageway at one point. I'm re I was reading this off the site. Uh, but the ta the, what the ability that the the uh, about time where she actually went to talk to her past self, um, that could be a big fa that could be a big depending if she's got actual abilities that can kill her because Raven's still technically human, uh, she's got the weakness of a human. If you could you know, like get a weak point, you could shoot her in the head, she'd be dead. Um, <clears throat> by all, it, theoretically speaking, if the battle goes on long enough, because she, she can use about time to basically go inform her past self about all of this stuff. And basically, okay, here's what you maybe want to do. Just remember to avoid it. But da, da, da. she could completely upset Raven. She's also capable of, oh, what was the other one she was capable of? Um, copying magic, to going in time. You know what? I'm getting your page up again right now. I had it, um, and I thought I could remember. She, yeah, she's got a laundry list of, like, weird, obscure spells. Uh, but, I mean, it, it, let, let's, not, uh, let's not kid ourselves here. Uh, we saw a freaking pony be a transformer in that uh, in that fight. So let's not pretend like this is okay. Let's see, like uh, uh, she's got the rainbow boom effect, like um, rainbow boom ability, like um, rainbow dash had. Uh, did I? I think I just went past the actual page with the the section with the abilities. Damn it! Uh, there you are. Come on, come on, up we go, up we go, up we go. No, urf. 
stupid thing. There we go. Uh, she's got the Sonic Rainbow Boom, which is uh, non-Pegasus ponies to walk in clouds and ability only Pegasus and to get blood, so forth, so on. Uh, transfer, she can transform, transform an apple into a carriage with mice and horses. Less, uh, the lessons uh, in uh, she uses a want it, need it, making a spell spell turn a right dog into something desired by anyone who lays eyes on it. Basically, so not anything to be useful. Again, the it's about time. Oh, and it's about time. She goes back in time to talk to her past self. Again, I could play a very big key factor. Um, she can shoot concussive blasts for the horn. Use a spell that reverts changelings disguise. So she can does have actual um, offensive abilities. She once created a half frog, half bird, half orange animal hybrids, attempting to turn an apple into an orange. That would be horrifying. If she, did. I don't think it would kill Raven. She replicated King Sombra, whoever that is, dark magic to reveal hidden passageways. So she's capable of power replication. That's that's another big thing. She can use magical shields. She's got interesting teleportation abilities, but they're kind of um ill-defined to some degree. Like, she doesn't have the best control over them at points. Um, she completes an unfinished spell by Star Swirl the Beam with her knowledge of magic, friendship, leading to the transformation of Alcorn into a princess. I don't see how that would affect anything. Again, she can freeze movements, uh, but against something like Ray, or someone like Ray, I don't know if that would really be a uh, big thing. Uh, she, a spell turns herself and her friends into breezies to help the, I guess she can transform herself into a book illustration. And she can amplify her voice. Use home like a video recorder. Makes simultaneous potential outcomes for Starlight. Uh, makes simulations for... Yeah, but her, that's Twilight Starlight. Uh, Twilight makes simulations of potential outcomes for Starlight. I, she's Twilight Starlight. No, she's Twilight Sparkle. That's right. So it doesn't really matter in that case then. Unless they'll figure out a way it can be a recording or simulation for her. Uses a spell to talk to Starlight, and she, uh, basically it's just shot. How what now? She's got all these weird random abilities that could play a huge factor in it. However, her spells occasionally misfire or fail. In fact, sometimes they will completely go awry or just not do a damn thing against someone. The only examples of this is when she um, casts cell on Paris sprites, basically like locusts that would eat their food and begin to consume non-food items, basically destroying Ponyville. Uh, comes to blows, life spell, she loses control of it, uh, her, a fail state spell failed against, uh, Discord, whoever that is, her magic did not, fa uh, her failed to stop the schmooze, which seems to be a weird goop, uh, green goopy thing with a bow tie and a hat, um, I play Magic Gathering, so these things do not, are not the weirdest thing for me to look at, um, in the episode of Magic Duel, difficulty performing an age spell, but it's the highest kind of rank spell. So while she is very powerful with spell casting, she's also very flawed, and her spells don't always work. That means that Raven spells are tied to her emotions, but that doesn't mean they don't work. They just are amplified by her aggression, and therefore can be kind of go, can kind of go out of control. Not necessarily that they don't work; that they kind of go haywire and have other ill effects. So. I feel like it's going to be a Twilight uh, Sparkle, but I, I'm going to go to Raven on this fight. Just because Raven, power-wise, like pure power-wise, I think has the edge over Starlight. And plus she has like demonic heritage, things along those lines. Twilight, though, has a lot of weird abilities that could turn the tide, though. So this is a weird one, but I'm going to go Raven in this. But anyway, let me know if you think different. If you do, that's completely fine. I don't care. And, for, and this is one of those fights that there's no clear-cut winner. Like, with the last one, Batman vs. Black Panther, it was kind of clear who the winner was going to be. But, you know, you could maybe hope for something different. With this one, there's not a clear winner in this one. So we'll see what happens with this fight. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back later with the Wednesday who would win. Uh, if you like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put it in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. If you have ideas for a who would win, Star Wars, Superhero, What If, uh, Magic Video... Super uh, Star Wars, anything you do in the channel, put that in the comments below as well. Um, stay tuned for Who Would Win, and tomorrow, the movie review you've all been waiting for, the final conclusion of the epic trilogy. Oh yeah, we're going to be Fifty Shades freed. <laughs> so stay tuned for that joyous occasion. Uh, later.